President, the imperialistic invasion of Ukraine from the far-right ultra-nationalist Russian government is an atrocity and violation of international law. Every day, Ukrainians die defending their freedom. Ukrainians are victims of war crimes every minute, every hour, every day. This war can end immediately if Putin would want it to end. But this doesn't happen because the Russian regime shows extraordinary contempt for all life. Contempt for Ukrainian lives, contempt for Russian lives, and no respect for international law whatsoever. That is why we must continue to stand together in solidarity with the Ukrainian people who are fighting not only for the survival of their country and their people, but also for our democratic security and the values of freedom and human rights. We must continue to increase the pressure on the Russian regime and to show that breaking international law comes with a high cost. That is why this resolution is important. It is about holding Russia financially responsible for its crimes. The Council of Europe should play a significant role in supporting the reconstruction of Ukraine by recommending the seizure of Russian state assets and their use in support of the reconstruction of Ukraine. This course of action would pursue a threefold objective, strengthening Ukraine, ensuring that accountability of the Russian Federation and deterring against any other future aggression. Though money can never bring back the many lives lost in the war, money can contribute to the reconstruction of a free and peaceful Ukraine. It is important that the establishment of such a practice is legitimate under international law, as we anticipate this to create a precedence that can and should be used also in similar situations towards other countries whenever relevant. President, let's not have double standards. Double standards will only undermine our strength and credibility. A good example is how uh, a number of Western countries have been crystal clear about Russia's crimes, but have been absent in holding Israel accountable for its crimes against the Palestinian people. It is therefore good that we now state clearly that the principle of financial responsibility for war crime is something we will use ever every opportunity to secure. This resolution sends a strong signal from our assembly that we support the work to ensure that Russia is held financially responsible for its crimes and that we will use all the tools we have to ensure that the funds benefit Ukraine. Thank you. On behalf of the Socialist, Mrs. Marietta Karaman-Lee.